enormous blaster. That thing was starting to get heavy. Anyway, today I'm here with an alternate build for the First Order ATST. So, I guess we should check it out. I'm calling this the Resistance Reconnaissance Speeder. As you can see here, it has two small builds. The Resistance Reconnaissance Speeder itself and Phasma's Stationary Gunner. Out of leftover parts, I made this enormous blaster, which you saw at the beginning of the video, and this cool little um, minifigure jumper. So, Captain Phasma's stationary gunner has some pretty cool actions involved. We have two uh, fake little gun, gun blasters on the front there, and around either side we have these movable um, fins on the back. These are just kind of deflector shields. Since this is stationary, it's not a moving vehicle. Around the back, we have some cool designs that kind of gives it a more first order look. And up here, behind the seat, we have two flick missiles. Um, down below, we have the stand, and it technically moves on this. Also, when we lift that up there, we can fire the spring loads of the resistance reconnaissance speeder to knock it over to defeat Captain Phasma. So the minifigure launcher, um, all we have to do is place our figurine on the flat tile there, if they'll stand, but just put them on there and then um, rotate the minifigure launcher, all you must do is place your figurine on top of the launcher and then turn this knob and bam, there goes your figure. So for the resistance reconnaissance speed speeder, we have three seats. We have, firstly we have this side seat which has room for BB-8 to just click on and be along for the ride. Back here we have a driver's seat in which we can place our rose figure. This has some nice detailed sloping on the back and a little backrest, as well as this computer screen back there. And there's a knob here, and when we turn the knob, we rotate the head turret for firing the spring loaded. And there's another seat up there on which we'll put Finn. So I have two more little um, fake shooters as well as the spring loaded's and some nice detailed light designs and slopes up here which makes it look really cool and around the front we just have some more designing and these uh, stickered grill pieces as well as this um, triangular design on the front. On either side, we have this armor, and on the other side, the armor does connect to BB-8's rotating chair. Underneath, we have two sliders, and just to even it out a little bit, we also have this singular tile piece, which just kind of makes it easier for it to move along. Um. So there you have my review for the set, and now we can go ahead and start the build.
that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel, and we will be back in a jiffy.